witches. I have a wonderful message to give to you today. I just urge all witches everywhere in the world and warlocks, Satanists, Freemasons that participate in the craft of witchcrafts and that participate in praying the arts and crafts of curses and witchcrafts against innocent souls everywhere in the world. I urge all you witches and warlocks everywhere in the world to repent and turn away from your wickedness, from sinning and with your witchcrafts because witchcraft is wrong and it's a sin and it's a work of the flesh and it's a sin against the almighty Jehovah God that created you, oh special, wonderful witches everywhere because you are special and precious and valuable to God and to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ died so much for your soul and for the remission of your soul and your sins and he died to give you eternal life everlastingly and abundant life everlastingly oh witches and warlocks everywhere in the world Jesus died for you witches everywhere in the world just like he died for everybody else on this earth just like Jesus Christ also died for me so witches I just want you to know there is a penalty and a consequence to your witch crowds that you pray against other souls and that you pray against innocent souls that you pray against Christians, the people of God, is a consequence and a penalty that comes from Jehovah Yahweh, from Jehovah God. He will judge and punish you with generational curses with your family, among your family bloodlines from generation to generations, uh, with all types of curses, like in Deuteronomy 28 curses just to name a few because the penalty of God is more harsher than any witchcraft that you can ever do against any soul and God is more terrible than the devil when it comes to his judgment okay witches so it's a high price that you will pay from Jehovah Yahweh since God Jehovah Yahweh is the only judge and since vengeance is the Lord's he will cause you to pay for any witchcraft and dark sorceries and murders that you do against the innocent souls from children to adults with your crafts of witchcrafts of all types so this is why I urge you witches to repent of your sins because not only God will judge you witches and warlocks but the generational curses will flow upon your family from generation to generation oh, which is out there so also you will be tormented by the demons that you operate through to do evil curses against innocence the innocent so your demons will that you work with will torment and turn against you and kill you too so because the devil hates you too just like the devil hates me just like the devil hates everybody just like the devil hates God the devil hates you witches the devil does not love anybody including you witches as well so the devil will kill you because the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and that goes for you which is the devil will kill steal and destroy from you and upon you oh witches and warlocks everywhere in the world even though you're working for the devil to do his works of witchcraft and sorcery and evil and you're sinning against your own flesh and your own soul and you're sinning against your own family bloodlines and your family members bringing curses upon yourself and your family members so it is a consequence of doing your witchcrafts against innocent souls even though it may feel to be pleasurable and fun to you to do the throw curses and spells on people and it may make you feel very powerful at the moment when you throw these spells and curses on people and hexes and je ve jexes and vexes or whatever you want to call it. But it's not fun to receive God's judgment 
and penalty behind doing your witchcrafts against innocent souls or witches. Because never find that receive generational curses down your family bloodline, seeing your children, grandchildren to be cursed, great grandchildren to be cursed, even long before you die and leave. And then also, your witchcraft will send you to hell because, you know, sin leads to death. Sin leads to death. The sins of witchcraft leads to death. And God will send you to the judgment of his hell, of Hades, for riches that won't repent for doing their witchcrafts against others and rebelling against God and his word and against the law and principle of God. Because the Bible says, thou shall not kill. And your witchcraft does kill when you cast curses and spells and hexes and vexes and jinxes and put evil altars on people, when you take vengeance with your witchcraft out of anger and jealousy and hatred and punishment to punish people with your witchcrafts and cursing and hexing and vexing and jinxing them with your omens and witchcrafts and dark sorcery. So you need to understand witches that God is the one that takes vengeance. Vengeance belongs only to the Lord, not to you witches. So I urge you to stop with your witchcraft and your dark sorceries and stop fighting against God and stop fighting against Jesus. I know all you witches have been trained from generational witchcraft in your family bloodlines to hate Jesus because it's part of the ritual training for what all rituals that you have been trained by your controllers and your handlers in childhood to hate Jesus and to do the things that you have that you have been doing and have and that you do now it's part of your childhood training but you have been taught wrong but God can help you to be delivered from unrighteousness because the blood of Jesus Christ paid for the remission of your sins of witchcraft and dark sorceries and Jesus Christ cares so much about you old witches out there and he don't want you to perish he don't want you to perish he don't wish for any soul to perish ever and he does not want you to go to hell and he don't want your family to be afflicted with generational curses behind all the witchcraft that you ever done against innocent souls or witches. He wants you to have life eternal and abundantly through him, through Jesus. And Jesus got much greater power than any witchcraft, voodoo power, demonic power that you can ever get from the devil and his demons his demonic cohorts so witches turn to Jesus Christ and repent of your witchcraft and turn to righteousness and seek after the power of God and the power of Jesus the power of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Ghost got greater power than any witchcraft voodoo power demonic power that you can ever operate in the power of God is much greater than the power of the devil So, Father, I pray that you help the witches understand that your power is much greater than the power of the devil. And your power is the power that the witches need to seek after the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of Jesus Christ and the power of your word, Father God, and the power of your kingdom and your righteousness and your truth. Heavenly Father, so I pray that you help the witches seek after those things first, your kingdom and your righteousness, and these things will be added to them, that they can have some real power. They can have the power of the Holy Ghost and your power, Father God. This is the power that the witches need. They don't need the power of the devil, because the power of the devil will kill them and destroy them eventually, Father God, and those demons will turn on these witches and kill them to death and throw them to eternal hell to burn in the lake of fire forever and then bring the lake of fire judgment of generational curses upon their family members from generation to generation so witches take heed to this message Jesus love you witches 
He loves you even though you did a lot of evil stuff with your voodoo, hoodoo. Jesus loves you and he wants you to get free from this curse of witchcraft and from the bondage of sin. And the bondage of demons that's controlling you to do the witchcraft in the first place against innocent souls. Oh, dear witches, take heed. Take heed, witches. Repent and turn to Jesus. Get saved in Jesus Christ's name and turn to righteousness and seek the power of God in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.